online class. Dear children, I hope you all are fine. At the same time, you all are doing very well at home. So dear children, in the last class, we discussed about 5th class science, the first lesson, growing plants. We have completed that lesson. In this week, we are going to practice some of the big part in your textbook. So dear children, please open your science textbook with pencil and eraser. Dear children, please open your textbook. Page number 77. In that page, we are having Do you remember? Guess my name. Here they given some of the clues. Basing on the clues, you had to guess that plant name. The first one. I am found in clay soils. My roots come out of water for air. That plant is mangroves. The roots are called breathing roots. The second one. I am found on hills. My leaves are needle shaped. That means, so hills lo undi, what your kakul uche sarki, needle shape. Needle ante inti, soothi, soothi shape lo unta mata. The plant is pine. The third one. I float on water. My leaves have a waxy coating. So already you know that uh, plant name that is lotus plant. I grow on dead and decaying matter. So looking like umbrella that is mushroom. Now you can open page number 70 sorry 81. Page number 81. Choose the word one from each group. They given the different word. So you have to find out that word and you can circle it. Round it. The first one. Water, air, humidity. Water, air, humidity. Conditions necessary for germination. So already I explained in the uh, class. Online class. Conditions necessary for germination are water, air and sunlight. Which is the wrong one here? So, humidity. So, you can take your pencil and circle this humidity. The second one. Cotton, maple, coconut. Dispersal by wind. So, already we, you know some of the examples for disper dispersal by wind are cotton, maple. See the coconut. Coconut can disperse by water. So, here coconut is the wrong one. Then. Seed coat, seedling, cotyledon. Parts of a seed. You know three parts are having for seed. The three parts are seed coat, cotyledon and embryo. So which is the wrong one here? Seedling. Now dear children open page number 84. True or false are there. Time to answer. State true or false for the given statement. Ikka dictionary 20 sentence wrong aite false and petali correct aite true and petali. All plants reproduce through seeds. Is it correct? No. Already you know you can, some of the plants can reproduce through the stem then root then leaves like that. So the statement is false. You can write false. F. Second one. A stem cutting of rose can give rise to a new plant. Yes, rose plant can reproduce through the stem cutting. So it is true. You can write true. The third one. Plants like sweet potato cannot reproduce at all. No, it is a sweet potato. It can reproduce. So that's why this statement is false. Spores and flowers can be found on fern. No, we can, this statement is wrong, so we can write false. Now dear children, open page number 86, time to answer. Name the following, a crop grown in winter. So it is rabi, that winter crop is called rabi, R-A-B-I, rabi. 
a fertilizer obtained from cow dung a fertilizer obtained from cow dung is manure m a n u r e manure so the first one is rabi r a b i rabi the second one is manure m a n u r e manure an insect that harms crops caterpillar c a t t e r cater p i l l a r next the last one grains are stored in dash granaries g r a n a r i e s granaries so this is time to answer now we can start 88 page number let us practice let us practice multiple choice questions already they given options you have to find out the correct option which of the following is not required for germination which of the following is not required not required so what is that so water is required for germination sunlight is required for germination air is required for germination both a and b means air water both are required for germination then what is the last one pressure pressure is not required for the germination so the answer is d you can put a tick mark in the near the box d the second one which of the these is not grown from seed which is not grown seed nunchi rani devi so coconut it can through the seed it can germinate brinjal can seed pea can seed cotton can seed what is the one correct one correct the correct one is rose rose is not grown in the seed the answer is option a which one of the following doesn't damage crops doesn't damage crops crops ni damage cheyani devi pest pest can damage the crop animals can damage the crops bacteria can damage the crop fungi can damage the crops then what is the correct answer the option e manure is the correct answer so you can put the tick mark near the option e one of these fruits is disappeared by water which one is it one of these fruit dispersed by water which one is it apple peanut lotus poppy or balsam so the correct answer is lotus lotus can dispersed by water so you can put the tick mark near box c so in the let us practice option the part b you can see here they given some of the crops you have to divide these all the crops in two groups summer crops winter crops cauliflower pea bean brinjal cabbage pumpkin groundnut now let us see what are that summer crops so you can write on the first one brinjal is a summer crop brinjal see summer crop then pumpkin where is the pumpkin pumpkin is a summer crop then groundnut groundnut is a summer crop then remaining the four one four are there that four are winter crops cauliflower winter crop pea winter crop bean winter crop and cabbage winter crop you can write these all the crops names in these boxes brinjal pumpkin groundnut these three are summer crops the winter crops are cauliflower pea beans dear kids please practice these all the bit part and you can write these all the bits in your notebook in the next class i would like to tell the question parts so stay home stay safe